hate with this. Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Usain. And I'm back here with another video, man. Uh, trying to be consistent with these video uploads, bro. And um, yeah, right now guys, I'm on the way to the gym. Uh, I know I shouldn't be recording and driving, but I gotta do what you gotta do, man. You gotta do what you gotta do. Um, hope you guys' uh, day is going well. Hope you guys are staying positive. Hope you guys are feeling blessed. You know what I'm saying? Another day, another opportunity. And uh, right now, I'm about to go meet up my friend at the gym. About to meet up the homie Rami. Uh, I'm about to hit a, we're about to hit a chest and back workout together. And I thought I'd record it, man. I thought since uh, you know I have someone with me, I'd get some better footage. And hopefully, hopefully, I can um, actually record the whole workout, man. And show you guys some good clips maybe show you guys some tidbits you know what i'm saying and yeah and hopefully hopefully no one's at the gym man hopefully it's empty so we can have the whole gym to ourselves and uh you know we can get as lit as we want you know what i'm saying um uh, might turn this into like a little vlog i don't know man let me know let me know if you guys like any vlogs man um i i, I usually don't like doing them because you know i'm a pretty boring person I don't have much to do, but if you guys if you guys like it, let me know. Oh shit, that's my dad. <laughs> dude, hopefully this dude didn't see me fucking recording and uh, driving. But um, yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the gym. Say you using logic. The afterlife isn't promised. Only death we can dodge it. This life we live ain't forever. So make the most while you got it. Fire your brain with narcotics. See, God is my only chronic. Demons may bring you down, but he'll bring you up like hydraulics. I'm full of wisdom and knowledge. Sharing it like a prophet. So love me off of my actions. So what's in my pocket? All right, guys, so I'm going to do a voiceover throughout this whole video, throughout the workout, because I didn't end up doing, we didn't do much talking in the gym. We just got after it. And yeah, so I just, I'm just going to talk over what we did inside the gym. So we started off the workout with trap bar deadlifts and barbell bench press. And I tip, this is how I typically start off my chest and back workout, usually with these two co compound movements. And right now you see me just kind of war warming up. So what we did for today is, me and my bro Rami, we just worked up to a heavy single on both lifts. So both on the trap bar deadlifts and the barbell bench press. And I worked up to, I think, what was it? 635 on the trap bar deadlift. And I worked up to 295 on the barbell bench press. So right now you're seeing me still warming up. Um, I don't even know how much this is because I'm new to this gym and these are kilo plates. I think this is like somewhere near 500. Yeah, yeah, it's like somewhere near 500. I ended up hitting 635 as my top set. And this this isn't my a PR for me on a trap bar. I've hit 725 on the trap bar deadlift. But that was a while back when I was really, really uh, progressing at it and really training towards that. I want to get back onto it, man. I, wanna, I eventually want to hit a 750 trap bar deadlift. I think that would be really good. But here's me hitting 635. Boom wasn't the cleanest wasn't the fastest but it is what it is and then here's me hitting six 295 on the barbell bench press with the kilo plates man it feels a lot different pulling off the floor since they're calibrated so it feels like it really feels like that much weight is on the bar and it just feels glued to the floor so getting getting that kind of weight off the floor it just feels so much harder than using uh non like calibrated plates but here's 295 that was also a grinder but got it wasn't too bad so what we did is after hitting uh our top set we dropped the weight down to like around 70 percent uh for each lift and we did some back off sets so what we did is we did five sets or three sets of five with 
70% of the weight. So for me, it was around, I think this is around like 445 pounds on um, the trap bar deadlift. And then for the barbell bench press, I just stuck to 205. Yeah. So let's see these back offsets. These went pretty good, pretty smooth, pretty fast. I love the trap bar deadlift, man. Really, a really good movement, man. Really good for building your overall strength, back development, leg development too. Really works on the quads, man. Cause it's somewhat of a squatting movement, especially if you do the low handle version. Unfortunately, this this gym doesn't have the, the trap bar doesn't have low handle, so it's a really good old movement overall, man. Especially if you're, if you're not really technically a powerlifter, I really recommend this movement over uh, just a conventional barbell deadlift. And boom, the bench was good as well. All right, now moving on to the rest of the workout. We did this uh, incline machine press, and we did three sets of somewhere between eight to twelve. What you're seeing is the last uh, set. And what I did for, on, for this workout is I just recorded the last set of every exercise. So if I did every single set, it would be way too long of a video. So I just recorded the last set. So what we did on this last set is I, I did a big ass drop set. So I did four plates for as much as I could. And I did three plates as much as I can. And I just kept on doing that. I dropped the weight. Boom, 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 boom. Right now, see? I'll drop the weight again. Cause usually I typically do more than three sets, but since it's me and the bro working out, the workout took as really long as it is. We just knocked it down to three sets. And then on the third set, we just did a big ass drop set just to get more volume in and just get more uh, reps in. And this is the last one. I love, I love hitting chest and back together, man. Just, it gives you a good pump. And especially when you pair up the movements like this, it really feels like conditioning, man. It gets really, really hard, man. Because you're moving two big ass muscle groups, your chest and your back, with some heavy ass weight. And it just feels like endurance. Not like endurance training, but it does feel like conditioning, man. So we supersetted that with uh, T bar rows. And we did the same thing on the last set. We did it a uh, big ass drop set. I took off two 25s. Come on. And then the reason why I did, why I'm using 25s for the T bar rows is obviously you get a bigger range of motion and uh yeah bigger range of motion and then when you do it with 45 pound plates you'll notice that it feels really awkward once you stack, start stacking up four or five plus plates because then the range of motion starts getting limited so hitting these with 25 pound plates just feels a lot easier obviously you can't load as much but you get a better contraction at the top all right so the next superset is we supersetted dumbbell incline flies with uh, the serial row machine variation and you'll see in a little bit We did this just to work more on the upper pecs Got a good stretch on this chest Something I'm kind of lacking on is my upper chest man I'm really trying to bring that up I feel like my lower chest is somewhat de more developed from all the years of doing push-ups and uh, You know working on my bench press So I'm just working on my upper chest as much as possible and then I have this cool machine at my gym it's pretty much like a, I think it's, I don't know if it's hammer strength, but it's just a, pretty much it's a machine row, but it's like a seal row variation of it. And just the, the, the squeeze that you get from this machine is amazing, man. If you don't, obviously, if you don't have this machine at your gym, what you can do is just use some dumbbells and then set it and then set your chest on an incline bench and then just row that way. It just does the same job and you get, but this machine, you just get a way better contraction. All right. And the next superset we did was a uh, wide grip. Uh, cable rows kept it light did 12 reps I think 8 to 12 reps around here and then we superseted this with pec deck flies yeah I really like focusing on just uh, squeezing on cable rows uh, I leave all the free weighted movements I go heavy on those but when it comes to like machines and like cables I really just lighten the weight and just focus on the squeeze and then we superseted that with uh, pec deck flies for around 10 to 12 reps. Uh, I really love the pec deck machine, man. Just get a nice ass squeeze on your chest, man. Yep. All right, and the next superset we did was uh, cable crossovers. Superseted with uh, one arm rows and um, 
went around about like 12 reps for the cable crossovers. And then we were supposed to do dumbbell rows, but me and the homie said, fuck it, since there's like kettlebells right next to us, we just did the rows with the kettlebells and it felt pretty good, man. Gotta make sure you guys do your is you know, isolation work, man. And especially unilateral work. You know what I'm saying? Very, very underrated. I always throw at least one unilateral movement and for my, you know, any workout that I'm doing, just to you know, make sure I'm not doing any, any imbalances in my, in my body. Not just for aesthetic purposes, man, just for functionality, man. You don't want one, you know, lat stronger than the other, one bicep stronger than the other. You want it both, you know, balance, everything in balance. All right, the last and final superset is uh, we supersetted these close grip pull downs with the lat pullover machine. And the reason that I'm doing these lat pullovers, close grip, facing the other way is I feel like you get a better squeeze in the front of your lats. Uh, compared to using, you know, obviously the pads that hold down hold down your feet. You just really focus on the contraction of your lats. And then we superseted this with the lat pullover machine, which you don't see in most gyms, man. So me moving to this new gym, I definitely use the f shit out of this mach machine, man. I always use it, man. Really great for the serratus muscle, really great for your lats. Just a, an amazing machine, bro. So we superseted that. We did three sets each. And yeah. And then we finished the workout with some conditioning work, me and the bro. Uh, we just did some tire flips. We did three sets. And what we did is we flipped the tire five times forward and then five times back the other way. And then we supersetted this with waiter walks. Um, really trying to focus more on my uh, core strength. So I've been training my abs every time I hit chest and back and legs. So that's almost four times a week. I think that's something I've been lagging a lot, man. Just my core strength. I've, I've, I've never been the person to really train my abs really hard so the way i've been doing it is kind of incorporating through functionality uh kind of conditioning work that way i'm getting the best of both worlds and these waders walks are super hard man especially if you go somewhat of a long distance i had to take a break once i reached the other end but man i feel like my core working a lot throughout this movement my lower back my upper back even the works the fuck out of your shoulders man and yeah so that was the workout guys Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. And yeah, I'll see you guys later in the video. All right, guys, I'm about to end the video here. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope you guys enjoyed the workout footage. Um, let me know what you guys think about it. Try it out for yourself. Shit, man. Let me know what you guys think about it. And uh, comment in the comment section below uh, if you guys like this com uh, kind of video. If not, tell me what I could do better. Uh, I'm always trying to you know, evolve. I'm always trying to get better in my my YouTube videos. So let me know, guys. Let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Holla back at your boy. Peace, y'all.